right, so for all of you who follow my random little adventures, I am in New Mexico currently, uh, working at a little hospital in Albuquerque until mid-June. Uh, today is my first day off since I've been here, only four days. Uh, last stop was Arizona, I was in Mesa. Um, but I am in New Mexico, and today's trip is actually a little personal. Um, if you knew me before my adventures, you probably know that my grandpa, William Tunstall, was one of the greatest people I ever met. Um, my hero of all time. And my grandpa, being a Tunstall, would always tell me stories about John Tunstall. And my grandpa had this big thing if he wanted to come to Lincoln, New Mexico to go see John Tunstall's store and where John Tunstall and Billy the Kid kind of resided and there's a memorial marker there. So that's where I'm headed. I'm just about to pull into Lincoln. It's right over there somewhere. So follow along, I guess. of run down kind of cool hand built brick um, old I don't know what you would call it buildings I guess carcasses of buildings something um, just stopped in and got a lemonade at Annie's fast shooting something like like pistol Annie something um, a photo you'll see photos um, it's actually a beautiful day a little warm, uh, but it's beautiful out here. I can see why people come here. Uh, lots of tourists. However, according to the lady I was just talking to, I just missed the National Historian by like five minutes for the city of Lincoln, who has multiple things on History Channel. Um, she's like, oh, he would have loved to talk to you considering you carry this heritage. Um, there's pretty little flowers. Uh, I'm walking now to the Tunstall store, which is unfortunately closed, but uh, we'll see what I can find out. Settlers safe from the Apaches. A little bit sketchy. But it's, you know, lived 200 years. It's kind of cool. I don't know that I'm going to climb up there right now. It just looks like dirt. And we'll 
pais e mães. Was not built to modern safety standards. <laughs> but it's kind of cool. You know, because good camouflage involves a good fire. You can see outside through here. The pretty little flowers. I'm having the duck. When the settler's short. Shelves, maybe? There's a lot of them. Maybe this is just a place to lean your arm. I don't know. Pretty sure it didn't have a metal gate either. Maybe it did. It's kind of fun. Look yeah, how thick that wood is. Yeesh. Okay, so in true me fashion, I have met people. This is Billy, he's a cartographer. He made a last stand of Tunstall map. And now I get a private tour of the Tunstall store. So here we are, Tunstall store, museum. Grandma and grandpa, this one's for you. So we're going into the Tunstall store. That is John Tunstall. We should start there. That's cool. Mm. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it sure does. I was looking at some of the hand built houses as I walked down earlier. I was like, gosh, I need to build a house like that. Okay. 
and go back through and screenshot some of this so we can read it. Again, thank you so much for letting me in here. No problem. This is really cool that I just get to see some of the family history. It's a shame we don't have it open right now, but it's been one of those uh, last two weeks. That's what it used to look like in 1930. Is this the hole that he was talking about? exactly what it, how it was laid out because we don't have any surviving pictures of it. There may not have even ever been any pictures taken of it. But this is the hole in the floor that we're not really sure who, if it was Billy the Kid or Jim French, but after the guys shot Brady across the street, uh, one of them had been shot in the leg and was supposedly hidden under the floorboards in here. Probably it was Jim French, not Billy the Kid. <laughs> we're just going to go with Billy the Kid because yeah, that's so much a cooler story. Yeah. <laughs> You see it's been wallpapered many times. These are different ages of wallpaper in here from different eras because it was a store for, for many, many years after it, tra it tra changed hands many times. I think it was even a gas station for a little while. Interesting. That is Emily Tunstall. I recognize that. So all my Tunstall family back home in Woodland. And this is your legacy. This is your people. <laughs> That's amazing. These are the regulators. I was in the other store earlier and was fascinated by the transitions between the floor oh. from room to room the the first store way on the end oh the one on the, on the other side of the street? yeah like on your side but okay. way at the end and how those transitions yeah. are like up yeah. and over my grandparents used to have so many antiques in their house Oh, my, oh, yeah. my grandma just got rid of everything. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, but wait. <laughs> and so, there's so many things. Up. Uh, there's a possibility. I know my grandpa, my, both my grandparents had quite a bit of legacy in their family. And my grandma was a reef or is a reef. Um, and my grandpa is a tunstall. And so just seeing some of the things historically that both grandparents had. It's like, you can't. Our generations will never get stuff like this. <laughs> yeah. It's already been done. But, like, my one of my most memorable things of my grandpa, even, was just the old copper spittoon that my grandpa had always around him. Mm -hmm. I was so mad when my grandma got rid of it. And I was like, oh. That was, like, one of my most memorable things of wow. my grandpa. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's important to have people who pass it down to you that care about that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of... People don't. In the younger generations, they sure don't. Yeah. My kids are still fascinated by family history, but I don't think they quite know what yeah. we come from. It's kind of neat to see things I saw around my great grandfather's house up in Texas at the ranch. Yeah.
this is just coal blocks for a carriage heater. Interesting. I got to see a lot of Wild West history in Arizona, but I don't think it quite compares to this because this is family history, yeah. not just Wild West history. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's the cool thing about Lincoln is it's the best preserved old west town. Yeah, even Tombstone wasn't as preserved as this. You can no. see where they've redone quite oh, yeah. a bit of it. Well, all the all the buildings at Doc Holliday and White Earth were in they all burned down. Yeah, and, I mean, and like I said, there's a lot of Billy the Kid history there, and I'm like, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know why there's Billy the Kid history it here. Wouldn't have been impossible, but for him to have gone through there. But yeah, no but it's not like noted, being, like oh he was here yeah. versus here where he. Clearly was. Yeah, when we were there the last time, I kept commenting on that because you'd see like the Billy the Kid stuck stuff with like Doc Holliday and White Earp, and I was like, he wasn't here that we're aware of. No, he was not. <laughs> Although there is evidence he worked at the Hooker Ranch, and uh, White Earp was friends with those guys. Well, he did go to Arizona, but I yeah. don't know that he went all the way to Tombstone. No. So. Well, when Billy was there, Tombstone wasn't actually even yeah. around yet, so. Trying to see some of this stuff from the window it's earlier. It's not original to Tunstall. It was built shortly yeah, after. See what years the walls after are. Died. It's still old, <laughs> 1800s, but he, Tunstall didn't build this part. Okay. have not because they've been over here too that's what the ranger told me at the museum yeah um but like i was telling the other guy in the bar like the first question was asked was like are you from california and i was like oh do i show it that much and he's like no all the tonsils are from california and i was like <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah we don't really have a lot of tonsil artifacts though besides the store unfortunately. yeah it's still just cool to know that you're you're a descendant of people who walked these streets oh, yeah. and part of this history. And yeah, yeah. I mean, without Tunstall, I don't know, Lincoln probably would not be on the map today. You know, his his murder or the war. <laughs> yeah, we started a war. Right. <laughs> or at least the death of well, yeah, his, a great yeah, uncle was, started a war. Wasn't, Tunstall wasn't violent. Yeah. The guy who killed him obviously was. Yeah, and Billy the Kid was revenging his yeah. death, so. Yeah. Just kind of cool. I wish Tim was here today. He's, uh, he's my best friend and owner of the brewery down there. He's also a historian. He used to do what Bo does now. Okay. He used to have that job. And he is so knowledgeable about him. Everything in Lincoln and the history, and he can probably tell you all kinds of good stuff. Like I said, I haven't quite played in my history in a long time um, since my grandpa was around, and he used to tell me all the stories, and I'd go like research them real quick. Every mm. time grandpa would say something, I'm like, yeah. that can't be right. <laughs> I look up, I was like, holy crap, he's on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that yeah. really is our history. It's pretty cool. Um, but, you know, in a Google era when you can just look stuff up. And I was like, Grandpa, are you sure? And then he would tell us things. And I was like, oh, okay. He's, yeah. he's, that's really true stories. We are part of the Wild West. Yeah, that's right. And then I remember seeing Young Guns as a kid, but didn't really, like, key in the name. Like, he had such a small role in it. It was just kind of like, oh, whatever. It's fine. Yeah. Like, you're a tonsil. I'm a tonsil. We're all tonsils. It's fine. <laughs> um, and not really thinking about it until, like, growing up and hearing Grandpa tell those stories. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> That's real? Yeah. <laughs> the brandings are kind of fun. How long do you live around here? You didn't know Richard Farnsworth, did you? No, I've never been here, but I've seen him before, of course. <laughs> On TV.
notice that in between, these are the shutters, the original shutters, it's got a piece of metal sandwiched between the boards, so you could close this up and really make it a fortress if you needed to. That's cool. And the glass is amazing. Alright, so it's the end of the day. I have been hanging out with the locals at a brewery for the last couple hours. Met an amazing person named Billy, who's the cartographer, uh, who's done some beautiful, incredible maps you'll see posted um, in my photos. And uh, Billy, when he found out I was part of the Tunstall family, uh, got me a insider trip to go into the Tunstall store, taught me a lot of my own family history, got to see a lot of cool things. Um, right now, I am standing on the steps of the competitor store um, in the sheriff's office, as you can see noted there. Um, I did not get to go inside this one because I've had more fun hanging out with the historians, uh, but it's been such a cool adventure. Um, if you're ever in New Mexico, I do recommend coming to check out Lincoln. Um, it's been just a lot of fun checking out where Billy the Kid walked and where John Tunstall is from and all of the cool things. Uh, but again, it's the old Lincoln Courthouse and the Murphy Dolan store um, are the Tunstall competitors. So, um, and part of what started the Lincoln War. So, I'll leave you with a little bit. Um, I did not get to go in again because I had more fun with people who know the history um, and getting that insider tour. But this town is so cool and so well preserved. And just a crazy part of history. So if you've seen Young Guns, of course, or any of the history, it's pretty stinking cool to just see where Billy the Kid walked. Um, and just all of the things that are Lincoln. And it has been a lot of fun. I have spent, it's now five, so I've been here for about six hours, maybe seven. Let's check it out. I'm headed off to the killing site. Hopefully I can find it. He can me some pretty good tips. the map, followed the directions. Now I am out here in I don't know where New Mexico, walking down a hillside, further following your directions, because somewhere roughly a quarter mile from the road is something I want to see. Kind of following a path. Nick, Udi, Jay, I'm sorry. I am following stranger's advice, it's kind of a cool rock, uh, on where to go. You guys can yell at me later. But uh, yeah, here I am. It's actually kind of pretty out here. Tramping, trampling down a mountainside in New Mexico. But because I'm me, so in my lovely flannel and converse. I wasn't planning on going. It's not hiking, it's running down a wash, walking down a wash. Uh, I saw deer. I turned the Civic into a rock crawler. And somewhere through this is what I want to see. So, Billy, thank you for the advice. If I find it, I will post. <laughs> I'm now through this really pretty meadow. Meadow pie, full of nothing. You can hear the wind, you can hear the crickets, you can see the fallen trees, don't step in the cow pies. But how cool.
according to instructions, just through here. There's a trail here. That's not the trail I followed. Right up here somewhere underneath this rock should be maybe in this meadow, maybe in the next meadow. I don't really know. Pretty out here in the evening. Don't know what it looks like in the daytime. It should almost be there. You can see a path, barely, that someone else has followed. There's a marker. You see fallen trees. And no path. Yes, I have a GPS on, so if you're watching this and freaking out because I don't know where I'm going, I am watching a GPS to a pin that I put while I was talking with a historian. So I'm not totally lost, just halfway lost. More trail. Probably the correct trail that I was supposed to be on in the first place. Yes, Jay. I already know you're saying it. Blazing trails again. Oh, I found the marker! I'm so excited right now. Okay. This is clearly the path I was supposed to be on. And this, my friends, is where I needed to be. Somewhere deep in the woods of New Mexico is this sign. In this spot. So we're going to go over here. And this, in the Lincoln National Forest, is where John Henry Tunstall was killed. Three days after my birthday, but many years before. And there it is. People leave cool treasures. Lots of ammo. Lots of coins. I mean, not a bad place to hide. Not a bad place to get shot. You could uh, leave your soul somewhere else less pretty. <laughs>